Hello, my name is Carlene Meeson and I'm an admissions officer here at Russia University College. I deal with student applications whose last names begin from A through L. And my name is Haley and I am your admissions officer if your last name is from the letters M to Z. This means that Carlene and I are responsible for reviewing your application for admission and hopefully processing an offer of admission for you. We may reach out to you if you have documents that are outstanding for your application to the email you use to apply to Brescia. So if you're wondering for an, looking for an update on your application to Brescia, please check the email that you put on your application. We may reach out to you if you have outstanding documents or if we need more marks to make an admissions decision. Please also don't hesitate to contact myself or Carlene if you have any questions throughout the admissions process or as you're completing your application. We are always happy to help. So first off, Carlene is going to give a quick overview of how you apply to Brescia and all of the information you need to know about the OUAC. Then we'll take a little bit of a look at Brescia's specific admission averages and prerequisites. After this, you should be prepared to apply to Brescia as an international student. Let's get started. Now let's find out how to apply to Brescia. Students can apply to Russia using the Ontario University Application Center, or the OUAC. The OUAC is a centralized processing center for applications for undergraduate admissions to universities in Ontario. You may be wondering which application type you should select. If you are currently studying at an Ontario high school, you would be considered a 101 applicant. You will require a PIN from your school's guidance team to access and complete your application. All other students should select the 105 application. This includes students attending a high school outside of the province of Ontario, a high school outside of Canada, or transfer students from another college or university. Russia University College is a campus affiliated with Western University. Each campus at Western University has separate admissions um, practices and different application codes based on their academic programs. When applying to Russia, you will find us under US Western University. Please ensure that you are selecting Russia as a campus and using our unique program codes to apply. There are some other ways that you can apply to Russia. If you are planning to apply to Russia through an agent, please connect with them directly to submit an agent application form. If Russia is the only Ontario institution that you would like to um, apply to, please contact an admissions officer for additional information. Great, thanks for that awesome overview, Carlene. Now let's take a look at the programs and prerequisites that are offered at Brescia. So first off, we're gonna take a look at the businesses, social sciences, and arts and humanities. So social sciences, arts and humanities, these programs don't really have too many prerequisites to worry about. However, if you're studying a Canadian or US high school curriculum, we do need a senior level English course that will be used in your admissions average. If you're interested in business, also known at Brescia as Management and Organizational Studies, we look for a background in mathematics. This is recommended, however not required, if you're studying a curriculum outside of Ontario. In addition, also for business, we look for a senior English to be completed if you are studying any Canadian or American curriculums. Next, let's take a look at foods and nutritional sciences, health sciences, and kinesiology prerequisite requirements. So it is important to note that Brescia issues alternate offers of admission. Should you be missing these prerequisite requirements or perhaps you don't have a high enough academic average, you may receive an alternate offer to another program at Brescia that you're qualified for, such as social sciences, which doesn't have the prerequisite requirements like these programs do. For admission to foods and nutrition, we look for senior level chemistry and biology to be completed. Keep in mind if you have these courses, there is a chance we may need to request course outlines or course syllabi just in order to make sure they are in fact equivalent to prepare you well for first year chemistry and biology once you get to Brescia. 
For Health Sciences at Brescia, we look for a senior level biology course and math to be completed. And finally, for kinesiology, we look for a senior level biology course. Next, I wanted to briefly talk about our preliminary year program. So the preliminary year program at Brescia is a co-ed foundation year. This program prepares students to transition into first year of university upon completion. Admission to this program, we look for um, grade 11 completed minimum or equivalent. Uh, there's also options to include English language studies with the preliminary year program as well prior to transitioning, transitioning into your first year of university. Next, let's take a look at our admission averages and what is a conditional offer. Now this chart here may look familiar as you saw it when Carlene showed it you earlier, the OUAC codes that you use when you apply to Brescia. On the far side here, what I've added in is our admission averages. Remember, these admission averages are just a general guideline. As an international student, there are many different curriculums, many different ways uh, that grades are composed. So perhaps you may use letter grades or you may have different percentages, meaning different things. Uh, if you're unsure, you can refer to the international student section on the Brescia website, which has information about country admission requirements. Don't hesitate to contact your admissions officer as well to find out more about exactly how your average may convert uh, for admission purposes. But for a majority of our programs, we're looking for a minimum 79% final average. And with the exception to that is health sciences and kinesiology, we are looking for a minimum 85% final average. For admission to the preliminary year program at Brescia, we look for a cumulative average of 70% across your entire high school transcript that is submitted to the admissions office. Now that we've gone over all of this information about applying to Brescia, how you can apply through the OUAC, the important OUAC codes, we've talked about the admission requirements, the prerequisite courses, the average that we're looking for, you've ensured you've submitted a complete application to the admissions office, then congratulations, you should hopefully be receiving an offer from us. And this offer, a majority of our offers are going to go out into the month of March if you apply early into December or January you should hopefully receive a decision on your application by March if there's no outstanding documents. Remember, this offer, however, is conditional. So congratulations on getting a conditional offer, but double check your conditions. The conditions in your offer could be something such as finishing your current courses or the current school year with a designated average, which would be outlined in your offer of admission. You may be required to submit English language proficiency by a specific date, which would also be outlined in your offer of admission. Perhaps we may require course outlines to ensure that you have the proper background to study the area that you've applied for. So all of these things would be noted in the condition section of your offer. It's very important that you read the conditions, pay attention to any important dates that you need to consider here. However, even after checking your conditions and remember to keep working really, really hard because we will recalculate your final average and award you one of our great admissions scholarships. Let's take a closer look at these scholarships. So our admission scholarships are automatic and they are renewable year after year if you meet the criteria. For our first scholarship that starts at an 80% average, you would be eligible for a $1,000 admission scholarship. They go up from there. So they begin at $1,000, they go all the way up to free academic tuition offered to the top three students in our incoming class. So keep working hard even when you get that offer so that you finish out the year strong. In addition to these admission scholarships, we also have our program awards. So a few that we can highlight here, if you're coming into foods and nutrition, you would get a $1,000 program award, which is stackable on top of the entrance scholarship. If you're coming into arts and humanities, you would get a $1,500 program award. If you're coming into management and organizational studies, social science or family studies, you would be eligible for a $250 program award. Now today we have shared with you lots of important information about how you can apply to Brasha, who you contact if you have questions about the application process, where on the website you can look to find information about our admission requirements. I went over some of the basic prerequisites 
and admission averages that we look for when we assess your application. We hope that we deliver you some good news and you do receive an offer to be part of the Brescia community. Remember, once you do get that offer, you also have to accept it to let us know that you're coming. So the deadline to accept your offer of admission this year is June the 1st, 2021. Again, don't hesitate to contact any member of Brescia's admissions and recruitment team if you have any questions at all. And